Ranking these World Heavyweight Champions from 2008, starting from Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is a former three-time World Heavyweight Champion and has held the championship for a total of 106 days. I'll give it a solid B. I'll give it a solid B. The first run I remember the most because he won it after CM Punk got punt kicked backstage. And this was right after Chris Jericho had a crazy match with Shawn in an unsanctioned match. And then a month later, they had the No Mercy ladder match where Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho went crazy. But then he lost it to Batista at Cyber Sunday and then won it back a week later in a steel cage match and then lost it to John Cena. At, at Survivor Series. And then a year or two later, won it back in an Elimination Chamber match after, after Shawn Michaels super kicked Undertaker so that he could get his rematch at that year's WrestleMania. Then he fought Edge, and then he lost it to Jack Swagger, which... We'll, we'll get to Jack Swagger at some point. So, so far it's a good B tier. So far it's a good B tier. Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio is a former two-time world heavyweight champion and has held this championship for 223 days. Instant D tier. Like I, I, I don't do D tiers all that much, but this was a, an absolute D tier. Between this and the WWE championship run, I at least remember the WWE championship run. The only thing that I remember about Alberto Del Rio being world heavyweight champion was that Dolph Ziggler cashed in on him. And then he concussed Dol Dolph Ziggler, which led to him becoming not only a champion again but also a heel again because he was babyface when he got cashed in on but after that like i don't know jack about this run i i realized that alberto del rio was like de destined believe it or not to have a good run in wwe but every time they gave him the ball it just sucked. It, it sucked. The WWE Championship run wasn't great. The World Championship run, I don't remember. He won the Royal Rumble, the 40 man Royal Rumble. He won Money in the Bank. Like they gave him everything. And he just, he, I don't know, nothing just clicked with me. No, 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 nothing clicked with the fans to be quite honest with you, but it is what it is. It's crazy to even say that too, cause I'm looking at the Wikipedia. He is ranked number four, number four as the most reigns in WWE with the original World Heavyweight Championship. I mean, come on. Batista. Batista is a former four-time world heavyweight champion and is set to have 503 days recognized by the WWE. Now, I want to preface this by saying from 2008, okay? Not the previous years, from 2008. The last time he's held that championship was in 2008, like I said before, when he won it from Jericho at Cyber Sunday. That was an eight day reign. So for that, I'm putting it above Alberto Del Rio because I at least remember that and I like Batista. The Big Show. The Big Show has held this championship two times in WWE and has had 72 days with that championship. I'll put that at a cool C tier. Uh, yeah, I, no, 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 no. I don't remember too much about the Big Show run, to be quite honest with you, other than the fact that him and Mark Henry went back and forth and broke the ring at Vengeance that one time, which was a big moment for me as a kid. I did not see the Big Show and, and Brock Lesnar break the ring the first time, so this to me was my Big Show Brock Lesnar moment, of course. But yeah, there's really nothing to say about the Big Show run. Uh, C tier. Christian. Christian is a former two-time world heavyweight champion and is recognized to have 31 days with the championship. A very short run, but I remember it because of the summer where he and Randy Orton had a great feud. I don't care what people say. I think that feud was good. I like the back and forth. I like Christian as a heel. This was fun. Okay, cry about it, I do not care. Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan has held this championship once in WWE and has had 104 days with the championship. Another solid B tier, to be honest with you. Another solid B tier. I think this is what led to the end of the Big Show Mark Henry feud because he did cash in at TLC, if I remember correctly. But that run was solid. That run was solid. You know, he did feud with Big Show and Mark Henry and then eventually Sheamus and then he lost it within like less than 10 seconds at WrestleMania. But I liked the run. It was memorable. CM Punk. CM Punk is a former three-time World Heavyweight Champion and has held that championship for 157 days. If it wasn't for the other two runs, I would probably put it here. But considering that he did have two extra runs after the cash-in, I would probably put it underneath Christian. Actually, no, I'll put it above Christian. How about that? Because the last two runs that he did have the World Heavyweight Championship was when he was a heel. And that was a, that was a good time too. Jeff Hardy, The Undertaker, that was good. That was a good run with the World Championship. They needed the heel and he was the heel that they needed and it was a good heel run i did not like the breaking point pay-per-view though where teddy long was basically cm punk's but then again he was vince's well so but very entertaining I, I enjoyed the steel cage match they had with jeff basically jeff swanson after you know 
you know. Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler is a former two-time World Heavyweight Champion and has held that championship for 69 days. I'm sorry, Dolph, but this is a C tier, bro. I think it might be, it, no. Um, yeah, it gotta be lower than Big Show. It gotta be lower than Big Show. The first run, he was gifted the championship only to lose it to Edge the same night. And then the second run was when he cashed in. And then unfortunately he did get concussed, so can't really do much about that edge edge is a former seven time world heavyweight champion and has held that championship for 405 days i mean this is a given come on i will say edge as a heel when he was holding this championship way better way better than the babyface run from 2008 onwards of course he had this championship literally strapped to his waist never left without it he did feud with the undertaker many times then he fought john then he fought what was it chris jericho the babyface run wasn't that bad either it's just that at this point wwe were like picking at straws at this point <laughs> i mean the mother treated with kane come on man like it, it was just it, it just wasn't that you know it, it wasn't a good time at, at this point gunther gunther currently is the world heavyweight champion and is holding this championship right now as of this recording at a 44 day reign i can't really judge this run thus far i mean thus far, so far so good i mean come on i'm expecting it to be in the a or s tier when we are done with all this i'll put it in the currently cooking tier because you can't really i can't really judge the run thus far he did have a good match with randy orton back at like bash of berlin is that what it's called bash of berlin that was a really fun match if you haven't checked that match out go check it out you know wwe actually got getting wrestlers wrestling out here drew mcintyre drew mcintyre has held this championship one time in his career and has held it for less than five minutes got cooked i mean there's, I can't judge this run either because he hasn't held the championship for, for longer than that, you know? Five minutes and then lost. You know, got cashed in on by Damon Priest. John Cena. John Cena is a former three-time World Heavyweight Champion and has held this championship for 152 days. Controversial placement, but I think John Cena's run with the championship wasn't memorable. Like, I do remember him holding the championship a few times, but I don't remember much about it. Like, I, it's still odd to me to see him hold this championship, even though I do think the championship looks good on him, but there, there's nothing really to remember. I remember when he won it against Jericho and then he lost it at the Elimination Chamber, and then he won it back at, at WrestleMania against Edge and, and Big Show, where he lifted the Big Show and Edge on his shoulders. And then the last time he held the championship, he defeated Alberto Del Rio, which led to the unification match with Randy Orton at TLC. And that's about it. Like, I, I don't remember much about, about the run, to be quite honest with you, other than those moments. And I'm pretty sure the second run was very short because he literally lost it the, the pay-per-view after WrestleMania. So th there's not really much to say about this run. Uh, I'll probably put it at a cool B tier, lower than Christian. Kane. Kane is a former World Heavyweight Champion and has held that championship for 153 days. I'd put it at a cool B tier. Kane, Kane being World Heavyweight Champion during that one time uh, was interesting to say the very least. Cause this was when Undertaker was gone for a bit and Kane was trying to find the person that attacked the Undertaker. And then it turned out that Kane was the one that attacked the Undertaker. And then they had a summer feud that led into like the fall. It was interesting to at the very least was it good i mean it wasn't fantastic but it was something you know you know just just for me saying that i'm gonna I'm put it right here <laughs> i'll put it in the c tier jeff hardy jeff hardy is a former two-time world heavyweight champion and has held that championship for 27 days i read the wikipedia and i just can't fathom that it, it took him that long to hold that championship i, I felt like it was longer to be quite honest with you I, i'll put it at c tier i'll probably put it like right here right next to kane cool fuel with cm punk but 27 days, you can't really do much with 27 days. Cool little C tier. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is a former World Heavyweight Champion and has held that championship for 316 days. In terms of like the current championship design, yeah, that's an S tier. I feel like he held that championship with prestige. He actually treated it like an actual title worth fighting for. I know people joke on this championship as like the Roman Reigns loser's belt, but it's actually, uh, I like the design, okay? I know a lot of people don't like it. I actually like the design. It's, it's cool, it's nice. For what he did with that championship, I appreciate it. I know he was working hurt too at some point but yeah like that th it was a cool run mark henry mark henry has held this championship one time and has held it for 91 days this was peak mark henry to me i appreciate mark henry and his hall of pain run the hall of pain run that led to him becoming world heavyweight champion i think he beat randy orton at night champions at one point to become champion i, I would say it's a cool beat here I would say is a cool beat here. Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger has held this championship once and has held it for 78 days. D tier. I I I can't. I I can't. I can't. 
I can't with Jack Swagger, bro. The theme song cooling, you know what I'm saying? The push-ups into the pyro was cool. But then he won the money the bank, cashed in on Jericho, and then he just became super serious. And I couldn't take him seriously after that. And not only that, but he has to be one of the most boring people in the company at this point. I think he even dropped the whole pyro and push-ups thing in the entrance. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? But nothing memorable about this run, like at all, zero, absolutely nothing. Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio is a former two-time World Heavyweight Champion and has held this championship for 138 days. I'm looking at the Wikipedia and it's telling me that Rey Mysterio has held this championship for 28 days in 2010. So he's only held it once after 2008. I mean, he was the one that got cashed in on, uh, had money in the bank from Kane, of course. I, I gotta put that C tier. Like 28 days, you can't really do too much in 28 days. Like I said with Jeff Hardy, you know, you can't really do much. You can't really do much. The Undertaker. The Undertaker is a former three-time World Heavyweight Champion and has held that championship for 207 days. For the one time I've seen his run, I enjoyed it very, very much. I think he won this championship in 20. 2010 i think i think it was 2010 i think it was the pay-per-view in which it was cm punk and undertaker in hell in a cell and that's where he won back the championship and then i remember the royal rumble match he had with Rey mysterio uh, a couple months later so i i think that was the run I'm, I'm trying to remember this was a good run i mean like i said from 20 from 2008 onwards i, I can't really do much about that you know what i mean actually i'll put it in, in the s tier if i could put edge in the s tier i could put undertaker in the s tier and last but not least sheamus sheamus is a former one-time world heavyweight champion and has held that championship for 210 days cool little b tier as well uh i remember him feuding with albero del rio for the championship and <sighs> It, was, it wasn't it wasn't a fun time for me oh man i can't believe i used to regard 2008 as a good time and then i watched back some of the 2008 and 2009 and 2010 episodes of smackdown and raw what was like what was i thinking man i i should have I, I if if i had a brain back then i wouldn't become a wrestling fan and that's my tier list for the world heavyweight champions uh no one in the a tier which is very shocking um where who, who can i put at least one person one person in the a tier i, I put brian and i'll just throw in cena why not